Welcome back to Rap's Garage Shop, and I'm Rap. And today, or tonight as the case may be, I am going to try and figure out what in the world is going on with my 2016 KTM. Now I can see it's leaking out of the shifter shaft, and it leaked every bit of oil out of it that it had. I'm going to have to pull that shifter shaft off, and you can see it's safety wired on, so I'm going to have to take the safety wire off and take that out. Now, I'm hoping it's just a shift shaft seal, hopefully, because if not, there's a bearing in there and you have to split the cases to get to it. Or if the aluminum's cracked, that's an even bigger problem because that's an engine case at that point. That much play in that shaft worries me. So follow along and you'll figure it out as I figure it out. The first thing I want to do is take the drain plug out. And that's a 13 millimeter bolt on head on there. Before I do that, I want to spray it with a little bit of brake clean, make sure if there's any dirt there, and I get it off. That should do that. Now I just come up here, I use the box end side. And there it is, loose. So what I ended up doing here is laying the bike on its side. I took the back bracket off the skid plate. Now I can get at this drain bolt at a much better angle. Now normally I would stand the bike up and get all the oil out of it, but while I have it laying down, I'm going to take this safety wire off and take that out and then be able to check it a little better. Oh, and it winds up that the nut's loose. Even though there's safety wire on this bolt, I'm able to take it out by hand, which that isn't good. But it's a good sign for me. Now you can see there's quite a bit of stuff on the back of that shifter. And also, there's a large amount of stuff right down there on that seal. Now I'm going to take some brake clean and clean that seal off real good. Now with these seals, if they're metal encased, which it looks like this one is, that's an OEM seal. So it's a good chance that this seal's never been changed before and that could just be my problem uh, yeah and there's barely any movement on the shaft there so I think a seal replacement and this thing's going to be good to go which is a good sign wonder if I can't just get down in here with a pair of pliers and pluck that thing out let's see it seems like it could work Uh, yeah, that's going to work. When you're doing this, you just want to be careful because that, that is aluminum. You don't want to tear that aluminum up. Now that I have the seal out of there and I clean the excess oil out, I'm going to give it going to give it a real good cleaning with some brake clean. And then I'm just going to take a screwdriver down into that. Clean out anything that's left. And there you go. Now it's ready to have a seal put back in. But that's something I'm going to have to order. So when I go to put that back in, I'll show you what that looks like. So I have the new seal, and I'm going to show you how it is I install the seals. The first thing I do is, since I don't, since I don't have the proper seal driver, I get a socket that's either the same size or a little bit smaller. Because the outside of the seal is metal, I'll use a little bit of RTV on the outside to seal it on. So it just seals up any imperfections in the aluminum and guarantees you a leak free job. So I either use the red or the black, they're the best for the oil. And in this case, I don't have any of the black, so I'm just gonna use a little bit of red. The last thing I do before I install it over the shaft is I make sure to oil the seal real good so it slips over. Now this one, the splines don't stick out. If the splines did stick out, I would put some electrical tape over that so they didn't cut the seal. But KTM does it a very unique way with this like tapered spline setup. So you can see I have a real thin coat on the outside of that seal, the RTV. I got plenty of oil on the rubber part of the seal. Now I'm just going to drop it over top like that. You can see when I use the socket, that I use the open end because you have to go over the top of the shaft. And then I use a long extension to keep me straight. Drops down on nice and easy. And it should tap in real nice and easy too. Let's 
thin even all the way around. I just give that a wipe with a rag, get that excess RTV off of there. Next thing I'm going to do is put the shifter back on, but I don't think anybody needs to see me put that on and then put one bolt in. Don't forget to like and subscribe. I appreciate you watching, and thank you.